At a D.C. council hearing today, Metropolitan Police Chief Kathy Lanier defended her department's stop and frisk policy. She says it has been fairly implemented. But as Mike Kinnean reports, some believe it disproportionately affects African Americans. Uh, police officer. Testifying before the D.C. Council's Judiciary Committee, that. Police Chief well, Kathy Lanier said MPD records show us. slightly more than 3,000 instances of stop and frisk each year in 2012 and 2013. We get about 670,000 calls for service a year. Right. So with 3,000 stop and frisk across the city in a full year is not a number that's alarming compared to when you look at the stop and frisk data from other jurisdictions, which is much, much, much higher. Regardless, yeah, several black D.C. residents told the council they felt targeted, even harassed by police, whether it be stop and frisk or a traffic stop. Jamal Muhammad said a couple years ago he was pulled over for an invalid registration. It turned out to be a glitch. Why did you tell me to put my hands in the air where we can see them? for a routine traffic stop that apparently you call a glitch in the system, which is just an administrative error, where I'm being treated like a, a, a armed violent criminal. Problem is, many who claim they were racially profiled don't always file complaints, or they later learn the officer involved was from another local force, transit police or a federal agency. Council members Grasso and, and Wells can only talk about anecdotes. They didn't present any evidence, any facts, any specifics. But those complaining of misconduct say they don't file complaints because they don't think it will matter and they don't trust the police. Now some are calling for reforms. So until we have the Office of Police Complaints empowered, not a paper tiger, but actually have binding uh, results for their investigations and the power to indict officers, then we will continue to see more of the same. Chief Lanier says she hears more complaints about traffic stops than stop and frisk with drivers complaining about excessive tickets. In fact, she'd like to limit the number of tickets an officer can issue to a driver. Reporting in the newsroom, Mike Kinnean, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Mike.